to Eastern and Southern Kentucky. This is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Hensley. We begin First at Four with breaking news out of the Belfry area of Pike County. We understand two people are dead and another person is injured following a shooting. Kentucky State Police say the shooting happened near the Tug Fork Apartments in the Belfry area. Again, we understand two people are dead and one person is injured. No other information has been released. Of course, we'll continue to follow this and have updates as they become available here and on WIMT.com. The Eastern Kentucky Heritage Foundation received $4.5 million for a Letcher County tourism project. The funds will help with the construction of the Raven Rock Resort Lodge in Jenkins. Executive Director Jeffrey Justice says the project will show people what the county has to offer. Yeah, so we hope to offer a restaurant on the property with panoramic views of the mountain. It'll be beautiful if you've never been up to the mountain. I cannot wait for this property to open so that people can see the views. It's truly breathtaking. Justice adds the restaurant will also have large doors to let in fresh mountain air. It is beautiful up there. WIMT's Madison Carmouche will have more on how they plan to preserve that beauty at 6. We are live in downtown Paintsville for the Kentucky Apple Festival after some showers earlier this morning. The forecast are looking pretty good as we go into this afternoon, also into this evening. But a few places across the mountain still looking at a few showers at this hour. Let's take a look at satellite and radar. And as you can see, some spotty showers, especially along and east of Highway 15. Watching out for some showers now in Pike County, also stretching into portions of Harlan County as well. And a few more light showers in southwest Virginia as well. Here is a live look from Mount Vernon at I-75 as you go further west. We are watching out for some clearing skies as some sunshine on the way for most of the region as we go into this evening. Once this front passes, we are watching out for some sunshine. Also some warmer temperatures in the Cumberland Valley up to 77 in Somerset, 73 for London. But check out where the rain is falling down to 62 over in Pikeville at this hour. Now as we go into tonight, we are watching out for some drier and cooler air to move back into the mountains and we are much cooler by Saturday. Also Sunday after some 80s earlier this week, we struggled to make it out of the 50s by Saturday and Sunday. And then we could see possibly some areas of patchy frost as you wake up on Sunday in those cooler pockets. All those details coming up in just a few minutes. Steve. All right, Cameron, thank you. President Joe Biden is defending his administration's decision to waive 26 federal laws in South Texas to allow construction of roughly 20 miles of additional border wall. The president says he had no choice but to use the Trump era funding for the barrier to stop illegal immigration from Mexico. The president says the money was appropriated for the border wall and he cannot stop that. Well, I was told that I had no choice that I, you know, if Congress passes legislation to build something, whether it's an aircraft carrier wall or provide for a tax cut. I can't say I don't like it. I'm not going to do it. If this hadn't been vetoed, if it's a law. President Biden condemned border wall spending when he was running for the White House. Republicans called the president ineffective on border policy. Well, festival season is certainly in full force this weekend. All kinds of events going on, many underway today and tomorrow. But right now, WIMT's Olivia Calfi is live in Paintsville at the Kentucky Apple Festival. Let's check in with her. Olivia? That's right, Steve. I'm here at the 59th annual Apple Festival in downtown Paintsville. There's been a lot going on today and you know, it's been really crowded. We had some rain a little bit earlier and clouds and people were still showing up. And now that the cloud or now that the clouds have kind of gone away and the sun's coming out, it's getting even more crowded. There's a lot of music that's going to go on tonight, but I'm going to give you all a little bit of a view of what's going on down here. So we are standing right in front of the Veterans Memorial Bridge. And as you guys can see, there's a ton of people walking across it, heading into downtown. There's carnival games and carnival rides on the other side of the bridge. And then as you walk over here, there's vendors 
And there's a really cool story with the vendors at the Apple Festival that I will share with you all at about six o'clock tonight. And because it is the Apple Festival, Steve, I actually walked around today and I know that you told me to look for the apple dumplings. I haven't found those yet, but I did get some caramel apples that I'm excited to try later tonight. But for now, I'm gonna go find those apple dumplings, hopefully before the six o'clock, and I will send it back to you in the studio, Steve. Yeah, it's been a, a few years since I had an apple dumpling down there at the festival, uh, but I remember is one of the best I've ever had. So I hope you find that, Olivia. Thank you very much. And also Alley Fest going on also in Paintsville uh, this weekend. So a lot of folks are going to be heading to Paintsville over the next couple of days. Well, coming up on first at four, damage estimates are adding up in Southeast Asia as a typhoon battering Taiwan moves to a different part of that nation. Plus, we are watching out for some chilly air by Saturday and Sunday. All those details coming up after this break.